With the recent suicides of two celebrities, Chef Anthony Bourdain and designer Kate Spade, mental health is top of mind. Yeah, there's a group in the Bay Area hoping to shed a little light on this difficult subject. The Depression Bipolar Support Alliance of Tampa Bay is holding a lecture series. And joining us now is author and psychologist Michael Rose. Thank you for being here. I know this is a tough topic for a lot of people to talk about. Yeah, and how can people live healthy or happier lives? Well, that's what I'm hoping to communicate to people. I've suffered with bipolar illness for over 50 years, and um, I've written a book, Bipolar Wellness, that beyond treatment, a person can learn a healthy lifestyle. There's certain nutritional supplements that are helpful. There's a whole cadre of information I hope to give over so people can recover rather than just receive treatment. And then what are some of the things that people if, can tell in their friend in their friends in their loved ones when they may might be on that brink of a real problem well the book especially with suicide as you mentioned is is a problem and there's a an extensive chapter on suicide my uh, bipolar illness runs in my family my cousin uh, committed suicide a number of years ago it was in the middle of the book and uh, so I wrote, extended my chapter on suicide, all the things that a family and a person can do to reach out. And uh, I list dozens and dozens of uh, call centers. Michael, let me ask you, because I, I believe like a lot of people that struggle with mental illness, they, they don't want to get on any kind of medication. They say it changes them and dulls them down a lot. And they try to deal with it on their own. What are some of the signs that they might have bipolar disorder? Well, one of the signs is not wanting to take your medication, and about 50% of people with bipolar disorder discontinue. It's very dangerous as the cause of many suicides. One of the breakthroughs in this book is I've, I was a licensed nutritionist in Florida, and I've researched. There is a group at the University of Cincinnati Department of Psychiatry that is researching a nutritional product that people can take and that allows them to take me less medicine, less side effects, and feel more natural. And so I'm, I'm really hoping to communicate to people that that's possible. Another, you know, we've seen unfortunately the, the, the higher profile suicides as of late. You know, we really want people to, get, to understand that there is no stigma to this. You need to, you need to reach out to your friend. You need, if you're, and either, either way, the person who needs help or if you see someone. We just hope that this creates a, a, a bigger dialogue, which is what this lecture series is doing. Yes, and, and stigma is a big issue. It's not that there isn't stigma, but you can learn to handle it better and communicate to people, oh, you know, I, for instance, I say, I am not bipolar. I have bipolar illness, mm -hmm. but I'm not, that's not who I am. And so I try to encourage people, I have a chapter on that in self-esteem. Don't identify with the illness. Just remember it's like a hand or an ear. You have it and uh, it's important in terms of stigma. Now you're gonna be talking about this tonight, right? Tonight at, uh, at the women's, uh, jo St. Joseph's Women Hospital on the fourth floor conference room. DBSA is sponsoring it, seven o'clock. Refreshments at 6.30, everyone's welcome. Thank you so much, Michael. We really okay. appreciate it. Congratulations so on the book. Thank you.